TSM, I'm not going to say it's going to feel like a walk in a park, but it's going to feel like a little less pressure on NIP, which is exactly what they want. And, and let's get underway for our knife And round. even more so with Envious out. I mean, if they get Fnatic in the lower bracket, then it becomes hard again. They want to get through immediately and have the breather, but you want to go for this one? Uh, I think we can just do a normal one, man. I think uh, we do a normal one. It's just, right. it's just a knife round. It's just a knife round. But they're so fun. Yeah, maybe we do it later when we actually get some sound going on for this knife round too. But uh, it oh, looks like, uh, okay, it will actually be Ninja Zip Pajamas. So Alu, the last man standing. Alu with a hat trick. Kijin B actually picked up three of his own, but Alu got three to close it off. So, yeah. so this means now, NIP get to take CT side. And we saw them on cash. A little bit different, obviously, on cash because it's Cause traditionally took more side. 8 7, but they started T side. So the question is, what do they do here? And it looks like they are going to stay CT. So that's, they're going to call for the stay. This will be how they want to start it off, take the easy ride out. And again, TSM is going to have to be so careful. Get the pistol, build it up. If they don't get pistol, six rounds should be their objective. I don't think that's enough against NIP, but that has to be the minimum. If they get the pistol, seven, eight has to be what they look for. Mm -hmm. and I, I just think for NIP, like, it's, a, it's the start of a new day. Yeah, you wanted to play T-side last time, but it was a very different map. This is Inferno. You, if you get yourself caught out, if uh, TSM are able to hold these aggressive defense positions, then uh, NIP is going to feel very, very, well, throttled coming into their CT side. And keep in mind, too, this is another map much like Mirage, where Get Right and Forest have played some swap positions. So Get Right normally supports Freiburg in Banana. They've actually swapped it off. They've been back and forth between it. I'm, I'm confidently saying that Get Right should be in Banana today, but there's a chance that Depending on spawns, they'll switch things up accordingly. And usually when they do, it actually means Get Right goes over toward the arches. Forest usually plays over toward Pit. So it's a full, a full reassortment of the A site, as well as just swapping over on the bomb site. Because again, if Get Right's toward arch, that means someone else has to compensate for the pit spot. So there's, there's a whole change up that Nip have been trying on this map. And of course, with Michael Ailey in it, they were very aggressive toward getting those peaks. With Alu, it's a little bit more passive. But if he gets confidence, I've seen rounds where if he, you know, if he gets up Early kills and an early start as we get ready. Crowd is definitely ready. Where yeah. he will happily push down mid if he gets things rolling. Oh, we'll see if he's going to do it. But yeah, this crowd getting almost completely packed on this wonderful Saturday here in Bucharest in the beautiful country of Romania. We are here to do the DreamHack Romania NIP versus TSM round number one. And uh, would you believe it? I think we can. A little bit more of a passive start. Existence Wells Forest having a bit of more of a peak with those USPs down from top mid. But uh, yeah, everyone's just gonna take it nice and slow. Zipnix drops out a decoy in toward the apartments. And they've only got one smoke, one flash, one grenade to work with now on the T side, so they're gonna have to rush in with force when they go. That's a pretty quick rotation from Get Right. Very quick. Cajun has no information on that though, so they won't be able to get a full read. He's at library. So it's not even a full rotate back. It's also interesting he's library because by playing passive himself, rather than going in arch and leaving someone like Alu or Forrest to come over and support close, this means they can all go deep in the site, cover off truck side, and get right still passive enough that he won't be overwhelmed if they go to the arch. He can mm -hmm. get out of there quite quickly, but it looks like this might actually be interesting because TSM responding almost perfectly to Nip's plans. You, you see that, that crossfire that's coming in with Alu as well as Exist. Getting out of a palm is going to be next to impossible. In fact, there's Exist already opens up the account and they're really having trouble getting in there. Maybe then, yep, no, will be Kerrigan being dropped by Exist on that high ground. Then he gets oh. a third one as well, a quick flick. Can he find the fourth? He's too many for him, but it's still a three on two situation. Dupree is not a healthy man, 27 HP, but he's still got that armor to work with. Trying to battle into the pit, jumping on down as Forrest in the corner as he kills up the vice. Forrest diving in deeper and Get Right gives him the help. NIP will take round number one up against Team Solo Mid. Great start. Early rotation, we called it. They're all here. They just walked into it. They almost pulled it back at one point on Device's second kill, but how quick is that? I mean, look at Exist. This is where it got hairy for yeah. him because he fired off so many shots. He repeeks here. Yes, he can still drop down, but if Cajun had it pushed up, he would have had to go on for that reload. Instead, he just annihilates Cajun. And he had the time to just jump back. One bullet tag up top. And now Exist gets to have a bit of a peek down mid. So again, they're using Exist here. Letting Alu just run around as they've gone heavy SMGs this time around. And it is classic, by the way. Get right. We're still early on, but get right is over toward B. So it'll be him and Freiburg, King of Banana, to hold things off. Mid smoke already out on it, and it's four SMGs. Mm -hmm. One of which is Freiburg, who's up close. So he wants to get the money. In fact, the only rifle is Exist, as we saw from that 3K. So... 
Well, TSM will have to take their time. They know, as we'll, we'll be talking many, many times already throughout the weekend, the, T uh, the Ninjas in Pajamas, they really like going for these early SMGs. And TSM are going to be very well aware of that. Now they're running out Exist. Out through Boiler. It's going to be Karakin against the first one. They also pick up Exist. There's going to be weapons into the hands of, uh, of TSM. But Forrest cleans up apartments and gets back inside apartments, which is more important. This means TSM is looking behind themselves. The plan is going to go down. Karakin will take care of that one as the rest of NIP players from B have now arrived. Freiburg, worry about the, this. Oh, sorry, Dupree's the one with the rifle too, and he's in pit, so this is a good post plant for him to have that firepower. But when he's blind like that, already one before us, he didn't check for the second. He didn't actually find Dupree, and he'll bring down Getright as well. Not expecting the second in the pit, and uh, that cost Ninjas in pajamas heavily, because that, that was their buy round, at least for the second. So they'll have to go into, a, into an eco now. So they pull it off. Two early picks unanswered. And again, securing that M4 didn't really come to fruition. Dupree got taken down, but they'll still pick it up at the end of the round, so they'll have it to move forward. As it mixed Kerrigan straight onto the AKs, and KGB recovers that MP7. He's going to use it to full effect. Forrest still goes for his own, and we'll see if he can make it count, because he's going to have to build up some economy that his teammates have just thrown away. Surprisingly, he's, he's actually, holding back. He's not moving forward. Yeah, he's actually playing it back toward the, the balcony. Trying to get a little bit more of a crossfire exist. Tagging into Dupree there. That's TSM. Well, finding that initial pick they were hoping for in the mid. But they're also finding no, get, no ground on Banana. This device has moved up Ooh. there, and now even Zipnix. These early, these early trades of bullets, Ninja Zip Pajamas, are coming out on top. And again, they're just using the movement speed to their, pardon me, the, the movement mechanics, rather, to their advantage. Strafing out while firing and getting the damage in before the response can come back out. And as a result, we can see it, 18 HP for Zipnix, 80 for Dupree, and no damage dealt the other way. Meanwhile, Device still trying to fake, but they want to come in. They uh, managed, managed to pull two rotators. Exist is going to move in closer, though, when he wins the battle up against Dupree. That's big. They'll hear more coming their way, which means rotation has to come. But Freiburg, man, so much patience, and he will be bringing down Device. There's more weapons coming the back of the way of NIP. But KGB and Kerrigan do control the A side. KGB heard them, though. They took one too many steps coming through Arch, so he turns back. That's get right. And they still don't have a rifle up. Freiburg's grabbed that UMP, but that's all he'll have to work with. And he's a little bit late to the party. He's still coming up mid as Alu's already taking damage. Or rather, somehow dodges Cajun. away from that. I thought he had, and he actually gets the M4. So Cajun's the one that's in the hurting position with only eight. Yeah, they just make Kerrigan work deeper inside the bomb plant and uh, make it so Cajun B becomes this more of a distraction, the decoy down inside the pit. Freiburg will take care of it, but Alu's going to mop it up. Does he have enough time to get the defuse in? That's a full 10 seconds, and he knows he doesn't. So you'll have to back up and save the M4. TSM, how to get that third round. Kerry thought he would get the first shot on that flashbang, gave his position away. So despite that they get away with the round. We almost saw back-to-back -back Ecos, regardless, hurts the economy for TSM. They're still going to get the op up onto Devo Device. Devos. Devop. Sure. Why not? make him sound very culture when it's Devos. Exactly. But Zipnik's still going to have this MP7, too, so he'll build up bank if he can get in on with it. But I'm very curious to see how they want to play this banana, because if we look right now, it's pistols and only that one M4, so there's three toward that B site. Yeah, but the, so far, with with every get, like with both the maps we've had of Inferno today, the commitment of the B has been so lax. It's always been smokes, grenades, especially when Ninjas in Pajamas had something. But now NIP, all you've got is one flash to work with. Flash them actually tries to look out. Forrest takes out one. They'll lose his life. Actually, no, he gets a second and a third. Forrest going big, stopping TSN's push up, and Freiburg will be there to help out. But it's a two-on-one situation. Alu still holding on to that M4. And let's get right. They've actually managed to sandwich in Zipnix here. The smoke will give him the cover to push up to B if he wants to. And as soon as get right goes into Banana, there's guns waiting there as well. So if Alu makes this call fast enough, he's actually backing out of it. He's backing way off this, despite that get right hasn't called. He's gone well, down. Getright's not even moving forward, as we see. He's sitting inside of, of a small little hole. But Zipnix has the bomb. It's a very easy plan. I'm wondering why NIP are not trying to add any kind of pressure on him while he's planning. Get right gave up the vision. Alu falls back as a result. Now they go. All they have to do is have Get right just hold the angle. Nonetheless, they don't lose a man before the bomb goes down, so they'll still be able to pinch yeah, forward on him. Get right's coming around. Just gets to the gun, but can't make use of it. Zipnix already holding the angle. And he knows that that AWP on the ground as well. He can e easily just shoot at the bomb plant if he wants to. And uh, there he is, he brings down Alu, saves the AWP, and NIP 
It kind of felt like they were even just giving oxygen to, for TSM to breathe there. Nice prediction. From Zipnik, so... Three kills for him in the round. Nice clutch to close it out. But again, these are very closely contested. TSM does have three already to their name, despite not getting that pistol. And again, remember, it's less expensive when you're on the T side, so... This is actually hurting ninjas in pajamas far more than TSM, even though they're close rounds. Watch towards that banana. TSM are going to boost up while NIP commit heavy players. Freiburg's already been tagged up a little bit here. They try to push aggressively down with it, with a smoke for cover. Yeah, but by not hitting that first, oh, okay, nice headshot by Dupree. But by not hitting that first off shot, they had to fall off because they spotted up the stack. The anticipation is that grenades would come through. That gives them about another five seconds to secure deep onto banana. So Freiburg doesn't even have to move out of the arches yet. And that allows, look, yeah, we've already got one rotation. It compensates for the pick that they did get on Forest, but it means Freiburg can make an early call, and they don't have to split themselves that far away. As long as one player stays arch, and that looks like exactly what Alu's going to do. Yep. So it's TSM that have to make their way up. Freiburg backing out of there. He's got no more smokes available. And they're actually rotating the extras. So NIP going to re just readjust their positioning. There's still a little bit of indecision coming out there from Freiburg as he's moving back and forward. And TSM with 30 seconds on the clock. Freiburg caught jumping on top of the car. KJB will take him, but get right there to defend. Normally a solid defender here for NIP, and uh, well, he can't get the second. Device only dropping by 66. Tries to hit one shot, fall to the next angle. It's caught up on the wall, doesn't land it, so Exist does make haste back the other way. That Zipnix drop, but Bomb's already down, and they still have a man disadvantage for NIP, and in fact, they're just going to run away and hide. Yeah, hold on to the weapons. They know they can't contest up against TSM. Like, retaking B with only two players, and one of them is very, very injured, difficult to do. And they're all exiting in different directions. Device is heading towards CT. He's the low HP player, and with the op, he won't be the first one in, but Kerrigan Dupree, one out, banana one toward library. So if anyone was lurking for exits, they would have found the angle, but instead they're all the way back. They're playing passive to hold them. So the two M4s are sustained. But TSM now have four. Again, their T side has looked awesome on Inferno lately. Yeah. It's the ability to find these, these entry frags. That was one thing which we were seeing with the problem as Envy earlier today. That you try and get in and, and get these initial kills to open up some space. I know it's only been one here or there up against NIP for TSM, but it's at least made it so then they can play the rotation game. Wait for NIP to try and split their defense up. Then you make your entry with a number advantage. And Alu, he's going to drop quickly. And this was that buy round for NIP. Not a full one, but it was still, it was still an investment of money. Investment, no less. And again, we talked about how Alu's not necessarily as aggressive. It's efficiency. I actually give a lot of credit to Alu for as an op player. And him going down early does really hurt. Get right's already forced off of B as a result. Freiburg is very effective inside Banana, but doesn't have the flashes to support his peaks. He can get a smoke over. Does Get right have another smoke? I think he does. No, he does. Yeah, uh, no, he doesn't. So he only has the flash. He can flash over, but that's. A pretty high flash. That's not going to blind anyone up long enough for Freiburg to get more than one. He could at least slow him down with, with the Molotov. That's one upside he's got. But the smoke's already come out now. And uh, here's that push. Check the truck. Looking into the pit as well, but exists out to get on top of Zipnik. Just keeps trying to spray through that small little gap, but eventually Death from Above comes in. And it's a 2 on 3 now. As a get right trying to come up, potentially behind TSM. They got themselves a good little flank, Freiburg with the Molotov. Throwing it inside the bomb plant, but with the smoke up, there's just no vision for them to work with. Not yet, at least. Get right's really going to find this opening. As now he comes out, finds one, can't get the second though. Cajun B will shut him down. Down to 36 HP, but it's all up to Freiburg. Looks for one, bang through the box, can't find the head there of Device. And that's five rounds to one. TSM just going back to back to back. Five rounds in a row, but again, CT side a lot more expensive, heavy investment into that round, so the money bonus doesn't even allow them much room to breathe. They're going to go for pistols. So they save for the next one. Smokes as well. This is interesting. Five smoke play on the CTs. They just want to delay things and potentially get these picks. We saw what can happen. We've seen it all weekend, what can happen when you get an unanswered pistol pick. It does change the round, but Dupree's already found Freiburg. 
That's Top Banana out of the picture already. Get Right still over in that position as the rest of them are stacked up our side for a quick rotation. Double smokes out to delay any vision and another one on the top of Banana, but this doesn't matter. TSM's already got the pick. They just have to be patient. Yeah. Well, then again, like patience, patience is a virtue, but do you really want to have that much patience when Kerrigan now brings down Forrest over on A? Where is the push going to come? You know there's only going to be one defender over on B unless you leave A light. So make the choice for the bomb site. It's a slow smoke push. Get right was the last man there. It was also like Device is getting ready for the flashes to fly in. In fact, yep, here they come. Heaps is back to him already. Get right blind as a bat. Device will bring him down with that Tech 9, but Alu, wow, he's right on top of the side, taking one. Can't get the second. Did some heavy damage, but there's not enough to get the kill on Device, and the rest of TSM will mop up NIP. Cajun B leading the way again. Nine kills for him. Kerrigan said in an interview the other day, who's, I think it was actually not even, I think it was on a stream. Someone asked him, who's the best player lately? I mean, typically you think device, and he said on land, Cajun B, and it shows. This guy is dead consistent lately. Two very calm, collected shots there in the post-plant situation, and right now NIP's not finding anything. It's Forrest, who yesterday was a little bit quiet, has eight already. It's Alu that's actually the one that's lagging behind a little bit. Freiburg's not too far ahead either, considering how much credit he's normally given, but look for this offset up. Alu this time is over in a different position, a very different position, playing with support on Freiburg. Get right's behind as well. He'll be able to flash over. There's the first flash, but no one's up close enough. So despite that they're both blinded, they're easily able to duck inside the arches. As meanwhile, we do see some aggression onto Forrest at the apartments. Yeah, this, they're playing for both sides right now, TSM. At the same time, NIP, Freiburg is so far up. But TSM want nothing to do with this. They actually stopped Freiburg from being able to rotate by throwing out these Molotovs. And Ninjas in Pajamas are already feeling the pressure. When you're being pummeled like that into apartments, a lot of banging coming in through the window, as well as down from the stairs, entry in to apartments. TSM are definitely just trying to clean NIP out of the forward rooms, get them into the back, back positions, and then you can start smoking and flashing over towards Archers, all going for the pickoff, which Device attempted, but failed. As Gerard finds that kill, flash onto Dupree, and he'll back up from Boiler. But Forrest is still wondering where he is, and uh, wanted to know more. Exist will have some work to do from inside the pit. Get right comes out for a bit of a looky. A Cajun B gets a revenge kill, so it's still tip for tap. There's Exist doing the work from inside the pit. Nalu with that off, stopping the push, and also Exist works the angle, finds Dupree around the edge of the smoke, and they go six rounds to two as he got himself caught in the back of the truck. Go for a rip, do you, bud? Great start there. I mean, that was that was a much better hold. By starting off the round with Get Right in a support position, they change things up. Don't let Alu get out for that mid pick because he has lost that battle. We've already seen that. He stays alive late, and look what happens. He's able to support Exist. That was the big difference as well. The trades were dead even, which means the defense is getting thinner and thinner on the A. As soon as Exist doubled up and picks up two rather than dying out immediately after, mm -hmm. entirely swayed it. Kind of funny you mentioned that after what also happened yesterday for NIP as you're talking just how much of a value player Alu is when he's able to survive just past that early 30-second, past the first initial picks. This time around, it's just, again, very, very defensive. Very different B approach yet again. Far more passive than they've gone any other round. At least while they're both there. We've seen Get Right play it from inside the site before, but that was after yep. the rotation had already gone away from Freiburg. But that's also the way NIP love to play the top of Banana. When you've got smirks, when you've got nades, there's no reason to risk yourself. You just keep the top of Banana smoked up. You can have sandbags. You can have car all you want. They'll just slow down your push, so when you do come in, you're only going to have maybe 20, 25 seconds to get in and get the plant down. It's all about delaying on the top of Banana when NIP play it this way. And get right's waiting immediately on the other side of that smoke. Yeah, they need a fresh one though. This is about to wear off. He wants the flash to go deep. That's the play. In so it's already past him. See, he doesn't get blinded because of that. It's good position, but he can't find the oh. kills. So KGB comes back. Freiburg is still there, but he's immediately traded as KGB finds him as well. And with the smoke already on CT, Alu won't have any line of sight. And this bomb is going to go down essentially for free. One trade, that's it on the way through. I think Freiburg found, found the worst timing for himself. He got caught with a grenade in his hand and not the rifle. So he couldn't help out Get Right when, when they started walking in through the smoke. And now Alu and Exist, they're trying to find the angles themselves. Unfortunately, Alu, working with an AWP on this tight corner is not going to help. And that smoke is still keeping them blind. So Exist has to come in first, get some level of positioning. They're realizing they can't get in in time. Maybe they can get some exit frags, but that's exactly what, what TSM is searching for. Forrest is going to go down. And Exist, he can't get... Oh, Alu actually will be able to kill off Device. Yeah, but they're not back far enough. So Alu only barely survives on 9 HP. I thought he was going to go down as well. 
That's that's a late call to go for a save, specifically when you've already been spotted crossing inside construction. And again, the, the reason they called it is because they actually reset the money bonus the round prior. If they got away with those three guns, then they can force. They're still going to do it, but it's a it's a very very narrow force because Forrest actually bought out one M4, threw it over to Exist so he can get head armor as way. Well, Alu will still have that op he, he saved, but the rest of them not much to work with. No head armor for Freiburg. Again, you are up against five AKs in this position, so it actually works out, but still not the ideal buy they were looking for. Tortilla has a while to actually set up their spread for, for their T side. Because initially they all got caught in the stairs. Alu threw one nade down, which tagged up both Zipnix as well as Carrigan. And all of TSM just like refusal at the gate kind of style. Before now they split themselves up a little bit more, so it's more more standard now. Two into apartments, one watching the mid. Think about banana as well. Well, ninjas in pajamas, they're also just waited out and play. Kind of feels very similar to what happened on Dust 2 up against Envious. It's just no reason to take the earlier risks. Just keep the smokes going. Delay the play. And they've definitely gone to a more passive setup. But again, TSM on the entry last time. Get right couldn't collect on those two, and it was just all open for them. They're playing it similar again. Not quite as tight to the smoke this time. In fact, they're going to change it. That smoke goes away, and they haven't flashed through yet, so they both fall back. They want to set up a crossfire, and Kerrigan's the first man in. Can't find the shots. No, nope. in fact, already they backed out Freiburg from deep in the site. He finds Kerrigan, can't find more. But Gerai getting shut down by Dupree, so they've lost the two primary B defenders. Alu is very quick over on the rotation as they start to pistol spray out from inside the smoke. And it doesn't help Alu. He's sitting there with, with an AWP. He doesn't want to be in this close on all these rifles. Instead, he wants to work with the angle, so Exist reveals Dupree at the backside. Zipnix as well as uh, Device. Wonderful crossfire. Means Exist has no way to come in through that the, the main entrance. And they're going to mop up the rest of NIP. All weapons lost. If they wanted, they're going to save the AWP. Wish they will do so. It's into the hands of Device. And TSM looking so great here on T-Half. 8-2 to two so far. 8-2 to two is huge. NIP, their success has been coming from getting a lot of T-Rounds, which essentially means their fault is not playing perfection, or at least... Decent on the CT side, and that's exactly what we're seeing now. They're giving up far too much. And remember, TSM is extremely good on their CT or on their CT as well. Their B can be a bit sloppy, but for the most part, they're well coordinated. And if they can get into positions that aren't challenged from Nip, then they should be able to walk away with this. But let's not count them out just yet. It is back to a save this time, full save this time, in fact, all the way across the board. No nades, no armor, no upgrades on the pistols. Again, though, with this pistol round, as Exist who takes the initial damage. 15 HP down as uh, ninjas in pajamas and they're just so heavily stacked cage and B would love a move up here this time around uh, you will see Freiburg not having any help at the moment but it's, it's only a rotation away so if TSM do come in they've got to come in quick smoke up the crosses They've already put down two smokes over on the A side. That's why Ninja Pajamas held them over there. But the, the calls being made by Freiburg. Sitting behind the fountain. More importantly, wasting time Patience. of TSM. Patience again from Cajun B, though. Doesn't get careless and fire away too soon. Waits for the shot to come to him, and it pays off. Get right, though. He's going to find Kerrigan on the backside. Bomb does go down. But they're already around. They might be able to just do damage. That's all they can hope for at this point in the post-plant situation. And they need to make sure that TSM doesn't give up that AK, so... Device gets up close, he doesn't want to let them push through, grab that, and run away with it. And Gerai really wants to battle up against the AWP. He'd love to just get rid of this gun. Takes a lot of damage though, and that's going to be a very simple round here for TSM. As you said, Cajun B, perfect patience. They get in, they take the site. He's and Ninja's pajamas just got guessed wrong more than anything else. I mean, Cajun B alone right now has double the amount of kills of anyone on NIP. It's actually over three, it's over a 3.0 KDA, uh, like, um, kill death ratio. 1615. that's... They can't even find him. Carrigan's the man who's been dying most of the time. And Zipnix has been quiet. Again, I'm gonna highlight him on the CT side when we get there, and we'll explain why. I mean, we've talked about it already in this tournament. But he hasn't had to do much work. Oh, this your, at this rate, your CT side might be very, very quick. Because TSM's taking all of the rounds. Cajun B wanted to get get right away. Worried about sandbags, but no one's in there. He realized that with the molly. 
But TSM's main pressure is coming up through apartments. And that's what NIP is pretty much prepared for. The smoke's going to be coming out. Existence have a little bit of a high ground. There's also a little bit of a hole inside that smoke for Alu. So he can get some vision while Exist will have, have to do the rest of the calling. Nice boost, though, from Exist. You should get one when you play that position, at the very least. He's got to sit in pretty tight to make it happen, though. Because they, they're going to look to the side. He's worried about the flashes coming in. Oh, there goes perfect. the flash. He turned at the wrong time. Perfectly executed by TSM to counter it off because the second player dropped off and the flash was dead on. So uh, never mind getting one when you can't peek down. As look at Kerrigan over the top, catches out Alu, and Bomb's going to get put in place. Yeah, he's only got three HP, but it doesn't matter. Can still pu push in the digits. And this is now an IP. Like, all they can do is save their weapons. TSM have to know this as well. Like, it's a five on, it's a five on two. There's no way NIP are going to take this, especially when your, your cash is so strapped. They can't afford to lose any of these weapons. And TSM, they can. They can go on the hunt. Maybe not devices or. And the AKs can go to work here. It's not as though they're going to be giving weapons over to NIP. Freiburg taking two, in fact. KGB and device. And that, well, would you believe it? That was the AWP I was talking about. Freiburg will be very, very happy to hold on to that. Still double digits already, though, for TSM. Yeah, they're looking fantastic. Uh, uh, if, if, they, if they can roll this much momentum through through Inferno, imagine what the second map's going to be like. Their coordination's right. Their picks, their timing is all perfect. And Ninjas in Pajamas, like, it's not as though their shots have been off. It's just they're getting outworked by TSM. Well, TSM are playing a dead-on team game, that's for sure. Flashes have been awesome on the entries. And they're definitely catching out all of their intended targets. We saw Get Right not able to get those kills up close to the smoke. We see Freiburg getting caught off inside B as well immediately after on similar rounds. And oh, nice shot comes through. Alu's tagged up, can't connect the shot. So Device again wins this battle. Now they've got to work our nade out in hand though. So that gives Exist a bit of a free shot. Doesn't get a kill, but good amount of damage dealt, no less. Hey, he needs more though. Or else TSM will just continue to move onto the side. Get right, getting shut down by Kerrigan. Sitting in the small cubby. Exist smoking in the library. And now they run out. At least Freiburg can find one here, but it's only one so far. Device going to mop them up, and, uh, well, Freiburg can't get a second. But that's going to be all Ninjas in Pajamas can claim on TSM. Go up to now 11 rounds, second last round of this first half, and Ninjas in Pajamas. This was the scoreline we're expecting when they played up against Envious yesterday. But TSM are doing it to NIP now. And, yeah, I mean, we made quick mention of the fact that, yeah, they had a long game last night, but it's... Well into the hours of today, they had lots of time to sleep in. They should be able to get that behind them quite quickly. We're talking about a very experienced roster. So there's no reason, as Exist is already going to find Dupree in this round. That gives them a bit of a chance now. And there's Alu. A bit more aggression from him. That'll catch off Kerrigan. And now they've got a chance. Look how far Exist is up middle. And th this is the kind of play I love to see from NIP. If you're Thank feeling you. behind, get out there. Rely on your weapons. Get out there and just run at TSM. Yeah. They don't lose a single player. Alu was able to pick off two. That was his, well, almost most successful round so far. Well, quite obviously, they felt like they were giving far too much breathing space. So take the fight to them. Works perfectly. Yeah. Now the question is, do they push through? It's only one round left. Get this back to 11-4. Well, now, well, it's also they're changing any of their weapons. Everything's still exactly the same. And I called eight to be the goal for TSM. And against Nip, that's a tight margin. Now they've got 11. Let's not forget that Nip does have a tendency to make games close late on the T side, but it's going to put a lot of emphasis on the pistol and keeping the economy well and truly intact when they get over there. Meanwhile, they still get the job to do. Exist is going to fall back on the bottom side, of, or pardon me, top side of middle, but Forrest. Gets caught out because Dupree was already jumped up toward Boiler. Yeah. Secondary smoke out. That allows him to fall back. Alu's going to hold off toward B. So they've got a 2-2 split. Surprisingly, he actually just popped himself out of apartments. Don't move in. Don't, don't secure it. Maybe with that jump out too, they're trying to make it into pajamas. Think about that B side. But Alu's already there. Actually wasting the smoke. They threw out two smokes just then. Evens it back up. But Dupree has found his way inside Boiler finally. Got the first kill on the way up the first time, fell back, fed off kill camp. Didn't want to get too aggressive, get caught out by a secondary trade, and now he'll readdress the situation. So it's get right and exist to hold the crossfire. That was a really good night. Secondary flash as well. Oh, they're, they're running on exist. Get right needs to help him out right now. The Molotov, he's going to burn in there, and there it is. Get right, takes one, two. 
Looking for the third, gonna find him up there. Get right, switches over the pistol, looks for the fourth. Get right, does it! Taking out the last round of the first half. Man, he is so aware. So smart by him. Gets himself out of dodge on the first angle check. Catches the second player on balcony who thought he had a free shot. Look at that. Perfectly timed. Says, I'm not going to bother taking the second one-on-one. -on -one. I know there's got to be a guy lurking behind me. And fantastic round from Gad Rai. You see why he really is that, that X-Mark player for Ninjas in Pajamas. Able to pull out rounds like that. But they're still a long, long way behind. It's 11 rounds to four. TSM, they're in such a comfortable position going into CTs. This pistol run is so critical for NIP. If they don't get this, then you're looking at TSM being two, three rounds away from, from a map victory. And lesson learned for anyone who's watching TSM and the way they play. If you give them space, they're going to find the pick. They've got a ton of skill. A lot of people don't think of TSM because they haven't won that many tournaments as individually high skill. These guys are awesome. I mean, Device could potentially be a top five player in the world, hands down. The way KGB is playing on land, there's easily a top 10 spot available to him. And they will take every wow. inch you give them. Nice shot exists, starting off again, much like he did in the first pistol. Oh, KGB. There's a couple of tags in. It's actually going only on Exist and get right into the battle. And Cajun B will be shutting down that star player of NIP. But Exist seems to be the man holding the flag at the moment as they run up the plant going down by Alu and Forrest. They're actually able to secure the site for now. But no, they can't. Alu's the last man left alive and Carrigan will drop him down. And it will be a retake from TSM and the critical round we're talking about. Pistol goes to TSM. Ninjas in pajamas, they threw caution to the wind. Everyone down mid, push as fast as you can, get the pickoffs. And Exist did make a hole. Forrest again, not able to connect on early shots. It took him a long time just to take that battle, so we're used to talking him up for multiple kills on pistols. Kerrigan, though, great road taken from the bottom side of mid. Look at the buyer from TSM, too. They're not, they're not playing for extra money. Three Famous, one P90, and the MP7 thrown in for good luck. And money for Zipnix if he can get him. And that's exactly where he's running for. If anyone tries to go up Banana, he's probably going to be there to mop him up. It's an interesting way to hold it, though, with him that far out. Because you'd think the initial pick would be with the rifle, then swap it off as they continue to push up. Yeah. And get the SMG when they rush. Early read, more distance with that from us, but so far they aren't even going to head that direction. We'll see if they want to try and take the battle to Cajun B and Dupree who are passively holding over toward Pit. Device is up close. He's got to be careful. That flash already in. He's going to fall off. He doesn't even want to take the fight. There's no, no. point giving up a rifle. Uh, it's easier to hold as well back from library as opposed to the archers when you've already lost your, your front part of mid. And Device looks for the angle and there it is on Freiburg. Huge damage dealt back though. Down to 12. Gets domed up. He just stay alive more importantly than anything else. And listen for NIP. Try and hear where they're going to run to. You've still got your players over on B, but it's, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that an IP just try and play security on Arch. And this is good communication. Cajun's told Device, don't worry about your backside. I've got you covered from the balcony. So he just has to sit and watch the front door. That's oh, what he does. Two. They didn't look. Get right's waiting for the peak, and he will bring him down. But the damage has been done. Exist will drop as well to Carrigan. And Get right mopped up as well. TSM making very quick work of this Inferno. But now 13 rounds to four. That's perfect hold, because again, Device doesn't have to worry about the arch side. He knows that Cajun's watching it, despite that he's all the way over at Pit. A lot of times you'll see players get in a panic situation where they toggle back and forth between the two doors. Which way are they going to come? I still have to be responsible. No. Yep. Cajun steps up, says, I got you. You're low on HP. Focus on one angle, and he cleans up the round because of it. So TSM is playing very well as a team right now. Yeah, it's, it's really a, a, a beautiful thing to watch. They deserve this winner's bracket final slot. And right now, NIP, they need to find that, that nip magic. That's only if you believe in a device. Backing up quickly, throws the smoke to cover up the short area. And Forrest just tries to make the most out of it. Smokes up this time over, well, actually, he shoots up towards Balcony. Smoking up on the library, but Cajun B still gets the upper hand till Exist comes in to put him down. Sees Carrigan walking through that smoke and Exist up on the side, making space for the rest of his teammates. A fresh smoke to drop too. And they have to watch multiple angles. Keeping the flashes out. There goes your bomb plant. Sipnik's the man to play through mid device. They still got a couple more smokes. Exist's gonna see that flash coming in a little bit lower. So he's expecting Sipnix down there. He's already lost Alu. And now it's a one on one situation playing from the graveyard. He's tight in the corner, but bumping it up. Exist does the work. Device can't get back to the plant. 
And Ninja Zip Pajamas get some consolation prize so far. Such an underrated player. Exist closing out rounds last night. Does it again here. Graveyard's a good spot to hold from because you can see both onto the truck side, not have to worry about peeking library until you absolutely must. That's exactly what he does. And perfect peek at that. And it puts him up now as the top frag for NIP. Freiburg and Alu are the ones who are kicking down there with uh, still single digit kills. And again, it's their CT side we normally talk up, but this wants to do the damage onto Banana this time. Freiburg is going to get in position. Might be able to push up in toward the archway. There isn't anyone aggressively out there for them, which is a change up. We normally do see that deep smoke from TSM. And I said we we're going to talk about Zipnix. Temu normally gets caught from it. So this is a slight change of pace, of course. Not with the same firepower this time. They do just have that SMG, but even before, they weren't throwing that same smoke. So top banana belongs to Ninjas in Pajamas. TSM, they just wait it out. And they're all getting back. It will actually be that move. They're all going to go together. The only, per the only person who's not there is going to be Forrest. So just playing that distraction game. Already the tags coming on top of Freiburg. So the call, still no rotation coming in yet from the other TSM players over on A, but Freiburg, he's in, brings down Kerrigan, and they get Get Right, that Mol uh, Get Right, sorry, killing off Zipnix with that Molotov. So they clean up the B side, and it looks like TSM have no desire to come over and help. I know it's a five on a five on three, and they don't really have that many guns, but still. And Forrest is already on the hunt. Gonna sneak himself in toward the alt mid right now. Dupree is in boiler. Oh, does he see his head? He's not looking. It doesn't there. look like it. His periphery was not ex anticipating that, so we if won't he, see. Oh, he it. looks he around the wrong time. There's someone right behind him. He walked across it at the wrong time. So Forrest, ah, luck is just not on his side for the for the check times. Starts to make a little bit of noise. See if he can get TSM to show themselves, but they're not going to. They stay tight. And they won't lose a single player. Good save from TSM. But they still hold a huge round advantage, 13 to 6 right now. And the money for buying really isn't there. Let's be happy with a couple of smokes. That'll slow down NIP's advancement. Even then, NIP aren't walking around with, with great weapons either. Like you got three AKs, but you're still running around with an MP7. So two five sevens up. Dupree and Kerrigan. Again, that means they can't play their default on Banana. They will support it with a third player this time. Device is going to be over there with that FAMAS, so they'll split up the rifles. There's a lot of pressure on Cage and B, though. Dupree gets underneath the atrium. No one to hold off on apartments, and in fact, no one back toward Pit either, so... They'll have to be very cautious of not getting caught and trapped in between the truck and the boiler doorway as Cage is now going to fall off. This will pull two back, though, that one high smoke, but they still haven't committed anywhere, so NIP is just forcing rotations right now and doing so quite successfully. It's also such a great, like, the position of device. If he moves down any further, either he's going to rotate back right now or properly flank them. There's NIP, they're coming in. Freiburg, the first man to make his move, can actually find Cage B. Flashed up, they smoked out Arch as well, so apparently Arch side belongs to him. They can see him up on top of the post, or looking on the side. That was Dupree. In fact, it was the Molotov that was keeping him up there, and NIP, a very clean movement in. And Zipnix thought he had a chance to come through Arch after they passed by, but Exist turned back and was completely aware that he was there. So not even a free pick off. Device has got all the way over below apartments. That might catch them off a little bit because they will be anticipating that he was on B. Yeah, that he, and if more than anything else, he's just looking for the exit frags. Oh, 100%. But it's just, he'll, get, right. he'll get caught off by his position. Again, they're not expecting him to be up close at all. The get right does do good damage to him. He'll fall all the way back inside apartments, but Freiburg's going to hunt. There's no reason not to. Get right's going to call that he's done damage. He's, he's going to keep him up there by throwing up the Molotov and the Flash and then just walk in through the door. Free fire it. Device actually going to get Freiburg. But they do still mop him up. They get that Famous out of Device's hands, but the cost is fairly high. But they got so much money that they're happy to expend the cash. And TSM. They got enough to force buy if they really want to, but it looks like they're going to be happy to wait for the save. Just a couple of pistol upgrades, nades here and there. But they'll go for a full buy next round. Remember, they're playing for the win. They only need three rounds to take this map. But again, they need to make sure their economy stays on an even keel. Because if they start throwing rounds away, that fire is going to force Kerrigan out. 
It's gonna be very hard. Nips known for their momentum late. We said it, they make games close on the T side. That nade, three HP, so first fire, then the nade. Freiburg does get him with the AK when he peeks back out, because why not at that point? YOLO, throw it in. Kill secure it up against Exist. Look at the rotation this is pulled though. Device, Cajun B, Zipnix, all in position. Dupree very aggressive as well. If they bring him down, then it's, it's, a, it's a quick and easy move into A. And Forrest, he, he, wait, okay. <laughs> Scared of rats in the corner. Debris had no idea he was there. He didn't. Like, maybe he heard the jumping sound. But it was asked to come back. And so NIP can actually come to their more heavily defended bomb side of TSM. And Exist needs this kill onto the fountain. There's going to be Zipnix going at it with the pistol. But Freiburg looking for the small little crevice. There's one at the back. The nade from Alu will do the work. A device from inside the smoke. He's holding from over on that construction side, back up on top of the stools, trying to get some extra vision, but Alu on the money, it's all up to Dupree, and he is going to have nothing to do with this whatsoever. And again, he's got a pistol. He's got, he's got, the, he's got the deagle, so maybe he can just get one of, the, one of the picks. He won't get close enough to grab a rifle. And in fact, Gerai's waiting for him and knocks him down. So, Ninjas in pajamas. Another round goes their way, but this is the real round for TSM. This is when they're going to buy up properly. Well, it has to be. And Device needs to find this early pick. We saw him win the T-side battle on the AWP. He has to get Alu down if he's going to hold on that pick toward mid. We'll see where he wants to go off spawn. Right now, Device does have a B spawn. We've seen them run it. So Zipnix and Device up close. No, they're going to rotate it back over. But they are still going to go with three. So it actually is going to breed a pre, or is this just an early smoke? Yeah, early smoke, rotate back speedway. So I thought they were going to go with Device down with Zipnix early and Kerrigan to support the flash. They're not. They go back to a default. Device plays passive, he doesn't even go for this mid-fight. Deep smoke, now Zipnix gets into position, and that's important, because that's where he's he normally so gets caught. He's so close to him on the other side of the smoke, we can see him through X-Ray as the bullets start flying. They throw flashes to try and give uh, Zipnix a little bit more space here, but he's still got Molotovs and smoked himself. As Ninja's in pajamas, caught on the stairs. There is, however, one player that's pushed up very, very far, and that's Freiburg. He's not all the way up into apartments yet. In fact, he's been very, very cautious about the movement. But TSM just trying to heavily stack Banana. And yeah, no one, no one from NIP has any more interest in that whatsoever. And this is normally how they do it. A deep player and two to support. But they've got two aggressively supporting. They're all by, up by car. Usually it's Dupree back toward the CT connector. Just so he's in a better spot to rotate to A. Because look how far he is away now. And Cajun B's already smoked off. The good news is Nip aren't acting aggressively despite those smokes coming out. That gives them a little bit of time to arrive, but now Device is smoked off as well. Dupree gets in front of Library. He's so watching so far out. on the left. He's going to get the vision. Waits it, misses the shot! It's a big one to miss because now Freiburg, the man that was missed, comes in, kills off KJB, kills off Dupree. The cost is high for the missed orb hit. And TSM are going to back up. NIP will plant down. And look to secure their ninth round. They need to get these guns out of the hands of TSM. Force them back into another pistol round. And it's so dangerous to try and chase him into B site though. Especially when they know that AWP is on device. And they've got no uh, they've got one flash from Forest. Yeah. They're not chasing. They are gonna slowly confine them in. Freiburg, is he gonna go for the pick? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 not gonna work. So Device will keep the AWP up. That's important because he get more. He does, oh, actually. Oh. Nice shot on Get Right. A little bit of a spectacle, at least, to close out the round, but... I'm not quite sure what Get, what get Right was trying to achieve. Jump to the other side of the truck, but you're never going to shoot anybody. So they end up just losing more weapons, but Alu's walking around with almost 12,000. That's so much in the bank account. Well, that's the big thing. So many rounds in a row. We will see this AWP come out again on Device. They need to be able to control this. If they're going to play three banana, they have to get a pick early. They can't leave that many people committed to it with no action. That good flash does come through the deep smoke, but they don't push through it because there's a counter nade out on the opposing side. That does damage to exist, and they actually had a great position initially. And now Kerrigan, he's the one who's normally good at getting effective on this position. It's funny how they always split it, too. Kerrigan goes to the right. Zipmix usually always goes to the left, and NIP is actually going to fall off the position altogether. No smoke there this time. They want to try and bait them in. Zipnix will make the call, but it's all commitment onto A right now. Dupree, with Device already out of it, has to stay so, so strong, excuse me, from Pit as Cajun B's already gotten passive on the arch side. This gives a lot of room for Nip to work with. NIP's wondering what the hell is happening with this, with this banana position. 
A lot of Molotovs. It wasn't deep enough to clean out the to clean, clean out the tree corner. But TSM losing device early over in apartments. Now again, where I can feel confident to come up here. And even if you are going to look in, like you, you could be coming out from mid or up in apartments. I think Kerrigan. Yeah, he's, he just made the call. He just made the call. Zipnix is already moving over as quick as he possibly can. But that's when Getright's going to come in for you from behind. He still wants to get cheeky, though. Getright's just on alert. He just wants to catch one rotator. That's his job at this point, because it'll make it easy. Are they, are they going to check it? No, they the flash goes too deep. Kerrigan avoids it. One, make it two. Falling back, still not traded out. So that turns the round entirely on its head, but he still has to make good work of this, because Cajun's going back. Ten seconds. That one kill from Getright pulls Cajun back, and they'll get this site for free. If that Cajun had to continue to rotate, he would have been inside of the smoke at CT connector. And instead, that one lurk play from Get Right sells him entirely. Yeah, it, it kept TSM over there. And uh, when you're over on the A side, you couldn't get over to B in time. It was some great positioning from Kerrigan. First, the initial hit when they didn't check the corner, but then he moved back out of the smoke. And Freibo jumped through thinking, hey, sweet, he's going to be in this corner. I'm just going to shoot that. But the repositioning was there. Then he got back into the side. Obviously, no more kills after that point, but still... Nice maneuvering from Kerrigan. The round is going to go the way of NIP, and it's getting closer. It's getting a hell of a lot closer. That's 13 rounds to 10 after TSM had a massive advantage coming off, coming off their uh, T-half. Uh, tea but this was always going to be the case with Nip, and we said eight would be tight. They picked up 11 rounds. They've only picked up two cents, and those were early on. Those were after the pistol, so no gun rounds going the way of the CT side at this point. They won't go to devices off this time. They need to not lose an early man. They're going to go back to a more default positioning this time. Nip's already at the connection point, so they won't be a deep smoke. They can't even get it into place. Freiburg's already around the corner up toward the trees. Zipnix goes passive, but watch out for the aggression on the A site. Cajun B inside the apartments has to fall off. It doesn't find early information. And can't give himself away because then Dupree has to fall back, forces Device to get passive, and they give up all of the top mid in doing so. Mm -hmm. Freiburg inching his way up through Banana bit by bit. That early name from TSM, it only, only slightly tagged him. It was, a, it was like a 3 HP loss. Not much more than that. But what he's able to get is the information saying the TSM are all the way back on the side. They don't know how many people are here, of course. But just knowing that you've got the top means you can move into a position. For the flashes, the smokes, the grenades, everything you need to get into B-side. So far, NIP have been very successful with that on their T-half. But they've faked it before in TSM. They don't want to be playing. Like, how do you even choose now? NIP oh, make is, a lot of noise and this then This is a little more you move? default. No, this is a bit more of a default setup. They are going to go for a full-fledged fake. It does pull Zipnix back, but he hasn't gone just yet. So this is good patience right now. They do walk it in. Device has to be careful because if he doesn't make this information read, it's going to get even harder to get back over. So they oh, fall they, into they the A-site. They're getting surrounded. Completely. So now it all comes down to the two players in B. How do they hold this? As Device has to oh, come back out of the backside. Working. And with Freiburg already catching Kerrigan, Zipnix goes down as well. NIP's round. And they can't, all NIP. They can't even get, like, they get Get Right. That's all they got. And Get Right was the floater over on A to make sure the TSM couldn't quickly rotate in through Archers or potentially bring their A players back over to B once you got the surround on them. And they did. You bring two up through Banana, two able to move through CT spawn, and you're getting done from all angles. There's just nowhere for TSM to go to. And it looks like they're going to need a moment to think about this because right now they're being pimped at the post. They're so close to the map win, that, but they just can't get it. Ninjas in pajamas just playing a, a, a fantastic T-Half. They keep finding these initial kills. And Alu, if he, if he looks to the right side right now, which was his left side, he would have found Cajun B, but I suppose he does in the end. Oh, wow. I didn't think we'd be in this position. It really felt like Ninjas in pajamas were falling apart in their CT. We get a little bit of aggression into them, and all of a sudden, momentum has arrived. Well, that's the big thing. Momentum has arrived. They're finding the picks, and TSM is playing their default. Nip just seems to be the better of it, catching off players on, I mean, even the passive play at B. Normally, it's Zipnix getting caught inside Banana. This time, he's getting caught back deep inside the site, so pause does come out. We will fix things up here on the stage. I'm not sure who called that one, but nonetheless, I mean... It was, coming, it was coming from TSM, and I'm fairly certain it's more of just a, you're looking a at, time to chat. You're looking at right now seven rounds going against them. They have a full money bonus to go with. If they don't continue going four devices off, then they can start to continue to force out these rounds, but they 
I mean, they have to do, if they're going to win a round, not only will they reset the money bonus, they have to do it efficiently just to be able to, if they lose a lot of players, they'll reset the money bonus and be on the t CT side, they'll get the worst buy despite uh, coming out for the better in that particular. So, I mean, I mean, with five digits up, you pretty much have to win the round with only two deaths. And, and they haven't had that position at all. I mean, obviously they haven't had that position, but they're, mm -hmm. they're not even giving themselves the opportunity to do it because they're not finding the early picks. I was going to say to that guy in the crowd that's holding the League of Legends greater than Dota 2 sign, love how you're on this side of the, of the hall. <laughs> Get your ass handed to you on the other side. And I mean, already we're going to see Device with 4,500. He'll go straight for the M4, but only with the one smoke. And it's a FAMAS that's going to be out for Zipnix. As we will get things back underway. Yep. Let's start again. Match is unpaused. And TSM, you get a breather. You can, you can compose yourself. And they're just trying to stop the momentum of NIP. So let's start again. And NIP. Can they get these initial frags again? And where's the movement? So TSM. This time they're committing. Actually, it's going to seem very close on apartment side of A. And Zipnik just tries to get as much vision as he can down through Banana without risking himself. He's only got that Famous. And TSM, I mean, getting to the finish line has been a problem for them so many times. This is a little bit expected. You know Nip's going to give you a late push. But they've got to compose themselves as well. They've got to pull back into this. Again, passive play. No smoke down on Banana. That forces Zipnix back inside the site. Meanwhile, it's a full stack on the left side of A. So they're changing everything up to try and play off each other and support each other in these positions. And Nip's just waiting for the opening. They're waiting for that one opportunity. And right now, Zipnix and Freiburg might come into an exchange if they continue to push forward. And they've got to read this. This is a far rotation right now for TSM when the time comes. TSM's taking too long. They're taking way too long. Those players, as you can see them all there, they're sitting on the, mo on the, on the southernmost point of the map. At least they've got a lot of supplies of smoke over here. And now flashes, grenades, and a Kerrigan. He's sitting inside that smoke. The flash is Freiburg. He's completely blind. It's about Kerrigan's going to bring him down. Zipnik's trying to give him the cover, but they've actually managed to get themselves around the back of construction, killing off Kerrigan. And there's only one player that's in there, the Molotov. Zipnix. he's trying to stick inside the, inside the hot coals, waiting it out. Surprises at least Forrest, but the plant's going to go down. A three-on-three -three situation, a retake situation and as well for TSM. We're seeing the exact same thing happen right now to the defense of TSM that we saw happen to NIP. They're just giving up too much map control, and NIP walks directly past them and pinch the site from construction. Nice shot, Cajun B, that does catch out exist as Alu goes back into him, though he can't go any further forward. Still guns up, still full HP, but not more, much more time. Alu get caught, though. Yeah, Gerard's going to have to play the bomb site, And he's off of it. If they hold this defuse and he gets support, they're wow. going to. Device catches it, insults injury as well, so... There's one more, and it's only two to go. But again, money bonus reset. They only had two players up at the end. This is still a very tight buy for them. That it is. But TSM, they got around. They got around. That's the most important thing. It inches them closer. He said two rounds is all that's really required now. The weapons aren't really that great. Well, we got, we got, we got four M4s as well as one Famous. So it was actually a little bit better than I thought. I only saw two pistols before. But TSM. Now, just in pajamas, still have a heavy amount of money to allow them. To have these smokes, nades, molotovs. Anything to come up. Dupree might have a lot of work to do. They smoke up, but it's TSM with a vision advantage because of that smoke being so shallow on top mid. And Ninjas in pajamas were just running it and then backed up another bait just to see how many nades they can get TSM to waste. There goes your next smoke nade on top mid. Alu and Freiburg. Stack. Watch that double stack. That's going to be interesting because it does mean, again, that they give up the arch side. So a whole change of pace over on the A. They just want to play to hold the site. They want to let them rotate. The, the, the jeopardy in doing that is by giving up arch, you do give up another potential wrap. And we already saw what happened when Nip did that. They completely obliterated the 2B players. There was no potential for a retake at all because you've already cut off all of your rotation spots. The device does go back over. That's important. Smokes rain out. Cajun B's already on the front side of the truck one. This could catch them off, but that first one doesn't allow him any further vision. So first success is going to come on to device. Goes for that pop flash, but not going to peek. Plays it passive. Has to just stay alive and hold this site. And he's going to come under threat. Freiburg's already firing away. He knows they're to the left, but with damage already on the first. Can he get it? Wow. No. Alu, what a shot around the corner. It's all the Dupree in the back side of the pit. First shot goes his way over to the USP, and Forrest is going to close out on him, and Zipnik says, I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, there is no reason to bother. Ninjas in pajamas. These entry frags, again, they keep finding them up against TSM. And TSM, 
They're so close, they can smell it. But they're still going to be running on fumes with this money of theirs. As Ninja Zip Pajamas now go 12 rounds to 14. Their money must be looking absolutely fantastic as well. And you've already got 7.7k over on Forest, and the oh, yeah, highest no, they've got really... is, uh, is Kerrigan on 1.8. They chase him down for the weapon, and they manage to take it out of his hands too. I mean, yeah, they had five digits at the start of this round, so it was pretty obvious that they were going to go for the chase. There's no reason not to. Again, they break the economy. We saw that money bonus reset, as that's only their third round they picked up. And we're potentially, and based on how this is going, I would say almost obviously going to be at 14-13, barring some sort of brilliance from TSM if they want to get aggressive. Again, we saw Nip in this position. They took the fight to TSM, and it paid off for them. It, maybe they'd look to do something similar to that, because right now this passive play is just giving up far too much control, and Nip's hitting their shots. That's the big thing. The AKs are making the difference. Nip's just nailing everything. We saw Alu even coming around the corner on the entry that time. Freiburg looked like he was going to walk into his own death, but Alu came around and absolutely destroyed Dupree inside the site. Yeah, Freiburg was so low as well. Dupree. Trying to get a little bit of vision out here. The first tag comes on Karen Dupree. Pokes his head out, takes out Forrest. Tries to pull himself back into the boiler stairs. The attack of the rifles, they jump across each other's crossfire. But as two players down now for NIP and get right, he's still not sure about the stairwell. But where do you go? The bomb isn't committed. And in fact, it's Dupree who's killing off Alu. Are they really going to be doing this with just their pistols? There's not even armor here for TSM. I mean, it's just, it's funny how that changes the mentality. You get pistols out and you say, all right, I'm going to play entirely a different style. And that change of pace is often what you need. Look at Dupree all the way down alt mid. Just that sudden change in aggression gives them all the information, the early reads, the early picks, and it catches Nip off. So this time they do give a bit of a fight up. Freiburg is going to try and work this up in with Get Right. Smoke already out to cover off CT, but look at them. They're just swarming in. They're already on them. Dupree, right as he was already aggressive, is already behind. Freiburg does find the first. That's Kara going to go down. Device very low on HP. Gets caught on the entry. Now it gets a little awkward because oh, Nips do waiting. have the sight. He's waiting. And Freiburg can't, Zipnix can't get the upper hand. Now he will, and there's the round for TSM. Three map points. This is a silent yet deadly Zipnix. And not checking those corners. So this lets them get the guns back out as well. Brings their economy back into it. At this point, it doesn't even matter. You just got to play for one. It's Nip who gets fragile as a result. They're still able to be buying out this round, obviously, as we talked about, but not much. Doesn't matter. You break them, you win the round anyway. You win the map anyway. So Device, Dupree, KGB back to basics. Zipnix this time falls off again, not throwing that low smoke anymore. They're going to play it from Spools as Kerrigan's actually going to go all the way back. They'll look for the crossfire, but he needs to get in position sooner to throw this flash because Freiburg's already on the peak. And can he get that initial hit? Uh, right now, he's getting hit. In fact, uh, Alu killing off Kerrigan. Zipnix with the Molotov is going to slow down that push onto B. And the it's allowing time for his teammates to rotate over. Molotov, more importantly, is immediately on the backside of the smoke, so it'll be unsighted when they come in. Finally, they extinguished that it. Flash. Otherwise, it would have done so much damage. But Zipnix is coming alive late, and it's making a difference, but he's already put to sleep. Uh, device one, can't find the second. He's sitting inside the smoke. KJB is helping him out right now. It's a two on two, and they're right in front of each other. He literally licked the boots of Exist. And now it's up to Get Right, the last man who's... So far away from his bomb, he's got 40 seconds to play around with, but Device and Cage and B, together they stand. Trying to build something in construction. And what's Get Right meant to do? Molotov deep, running for the bomb. He has to make a move sometime soon. 25 seconds on the clock. He can't even play around with a plant. Soon he's going to be forced to go for the kills. And this is the last round of the map if he can't take it. There's your smoke. 15 seconds on the clock. Device is hearing him run up. And that's the reason why you're seeing Cajun B now spamming through seven seconds on the clock. He's now going to pick up the bomb, the plant. He's got to fully commit to this. There's no other choice. And get right, he's going to drop down. TSM take map number one up against Nip Gaming.